Hi, and welcome to Memphis Makers. I'm Allie Luciano. Thank you for joining us. A little bit later in the program, Serbs is having their fabulous Spirit of Serbs event this year again, which is always a wonderful thing. And there's some new features about the event. We'll tell you all about that later in the show. But right now, we have some really special guests here from Lake Passaic. Kim Flynn and Leslie Dar are the co-chairs of the Stock Exchange. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank We're you. so glad to have you here. Now, Le Passe, let's start by covering just the basics. Someone maybe that has been living on another planet doesn't know <laughs> what Le Passe does, but you know, you're a group of ladies and you work your butts off. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're the oldest, or one of the oldest, women's organizations in Memphis. We've always focused on families and children. Started out as a group of women that helped out with some of the war efforts in Memphis, um, back to World War I, and uh, with ter the tuberculosis hospital, um, they rolled bandages, they knitted, things like that. Um, Le Passe actually means out of fashion, because these ladies were the older ladies, so uh, which I think is kind of funny. But anyway, then it morphed into uh, a group of ladies that were helping out with the Crippled Children's Hospital. And um, now we focus on two main charities, our Le Passe Kids on the Block Puppet Troop, which does um, uh, skits all over the Memphis area, 250,000 kids were well, reached. The, the puppet troop goes to schools and mm -hmm. churches or anywhere that, you know, people gather to um, talk about disabilities and, and living with disabilities from a lot of different angles. And the puppeteers, some of them even have disabilities? Yes, we do. We have one of our puppeteers is an adult disabled person and um, she's wonderful and uh, we, uh, they also uh, address bullying issues mm -hmm. and some other things that children uh, have to face and um, wonderful group and we, we, that's one of our fully funded charities. It's a, it's a branch of Le Passe, um, housed in Le Passe and then we also focus on the Harwood Center which um, uh, takes care of uh, children that have developmental delays such as autism or uh, cerebral palsy and they have six classrooms throughout Shelby County and we provide funding that goes to teacher salaries and supplies and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, your plate is really full, <laughs> Yes. and of course this doesn't just, you know, you don't cross your arms and blink, or wiggle your nose. No. <laughs> Don't you wish we could? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be nice. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it, Kim? But uh, you all have to really roll up your sleeves and work awful hard to make the money that it takes to mm -hmm. support yes. these charities. And ladies, my hat's off to you. Thank you. For we all have of that. Um, we have a main fundraiser that we. Um, used to support these charities it's our stock exchange and Kim has been really involved in this throughout the years and then I'm helping her out this year to do <laughs> it <laughs> but um, it's coming up um, this month and um, would you tell them a little bit more I about would it? I'd love to um, we, we've gotten to the building and so we're cleaning it and getting it ready but the first time that you can bring an item to consign would be August 13th it's a Wednesday and simple process, I can walk you through it a little bit later. But so we've got about a month to take all the items, get them ready. And then we have our preview party the second Thursday of September. I believe that's the 11th. And that is the first time you can actually come in, see the items, and you can buy. And it's a party. I mean, there's music, there's food, beverages. The, follow, or the next day, that's the Friday, September 12th, we open to the public, all hands on deck, and we're off and running. For six weeks. Um, about that, we go until November 2nd will be the last possible day. Wow. And so we're open six days well, a week. Now, just getting a place <laughs> big enough, uh -huh. I and mean, this is donated, you know, and pretty yes, much. Yeah. yeah, but just getting a place big enough to accommodate the stock exchange is probably the, your first challenge. It is. We've been very lucky. We have the same location we had last year. <sighs> 6100 Quince Road. It's um, for those Quince who, and Ridgeway. Yes, the old Schnucks. Yeah. And it'll have our name on. It'll say Le Passe Consignment. So those of you that came last year, same place. And it's, it's really worked out well for us. It's big enough that we can showcase all the items that we get. So, like, um, 
it is like the biggest pre-holiday way to find all of your Christmas lists yes. and everything. <laughs> it's just wonderful. There are some, the, the items that you have there, give us some examples. We have sofas, um, antique furniture, um, a lot of home goods. We have china, we have everyday dishes, we have glasses. You can buy individuals, you could buy sets, um, milk glass. We have the knickknacks that, that finish a room that you know, you just, you don't know you need it till you come in and you see it and suddenly that's the item that you have to have. We have vases, we have artwork. We have everything from high-end artwork to just the everyday piece that just finishes the wall. Um, just pretty much anything for your home. There's a room usually or an area usually where there's just holidays. I mean, it's like Easter, yes. Christmas, <laughs> yes. Halloween, Thanksgiving, everything. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. For people that like the holidays, me, it is a great place to go um, and buy stuff that you don't need, but you need, but you really do need. Christmas trees, um, and it's not just Christmas. We also have Halloween, right. Thanksgiving, um, like you said, any holiday, you know, American flags. It's just, Easter, St. Patrick. Yes. I mean, just yeah. And we group it together. So if you're looking for that, it's there. And then we have a place throughout. We have this lovely group of women that come in after hours. We call them the Band of Angels. <sighs> And they come in and they look around and they take the pieces and they put them where they're going to look the best. They finish them off, so to speak. We have little vignettes. Staging. Staging, yes. So that when it comes in, you get the idea of how the sofa or the end table, the lamp, is going to actually look in a room. So if you're not a designer, you can see it. You know, And if you are a designer, then we also have them grouped together so you can just walk down the aisle and pick the lamp that you want. It's, it's wonderful. I, I love it. You, said, you mentioned art. Of course, there's so much. I mean, everything from the tiniest little mm -hmm. small pictures to big, huge things that would hang on your mantle or behind the sofa or, you know. We have um, eat prints. We have local artists. Every year, we always get great local artists that come in. And we call them our finds because someone's like, you know what? I don't know what it is. You know, I liked it, but I'm ready to get something else or I need something bigger. And you're like, oh, my gosh, that's a... You know, and suddenly it's up on the wall, and it's it's good for us because we do get 30% of every item that sells. The consigner gets 70, but 30 of it comes back to Le Passe, and then we can then pass that on to our two charities. Excellent. I was really impressed with the garden center. I mean, fountains, furniture for the outside, and yes. everything. We, we do have that. We have, you know, children's bedrooms. We have pretty much anything in your house that you could need or want. We oh, and don't forget made. the jewelry. And the jewelry. My and the jewelry. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you've got my attention. We do. Um, <laughs> and we have the high-end jewelry. Yeah. And then we have wonderful costume jewelry that I wear a lot of. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's really good. You can pretty much find anything you're looking for. And like you said, Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, that's a great place for it because we have all price ranges. And so you can find something that you fall in love with, or you can find something that you would like to give as a gift. It's well, I think most everything is kind of on sale, quote unquote. It, it is. It's um, a friend of mine got a fur coat. We do have fur coats. Yes, and it's all priced. I mean, to and sell. I thought she had just stolen it for what she paid. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like it. Again, it's a consignment sale. So when you come in, you know, our our, our shoppers are looking to get a deal, and the consigners are looking to get a deal and it's 70% off, they are. and I mean, 70% of the price they're getting back. And so it's it's a win-win for everyone involved, those that are consigning, those that are shopping, and it's great for us and our charities. So anyone can consign. Anyone can consign. And you bring the things that are in your attic that you don't want anymore mm -hmm. because one man's trash is another man's treasure. Exactly, we do ask that you bring the items with a, a detailed list and the price that you're looking to get. Um, bring it in. We've got a computer system all set up. We enter it, print out the tags, put it on the item, goes to the floor, and it's it's a very simple process. It doesn't matter if you've done it a hundred times or if it's your first time. We walk you through it, and it's 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 easy, and it's it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot of fun, and it goes on. I mean, it's it's not just like you could go today and say, oh, been there. Because if you go back tomorrow, there's going to be more things that were not there the day before. Yes, we, we consign. We don't stop consigning the day we open to sell. We accept items almost up until the end. So if you come in and you're looking for something specific, 
and you don't find it, it, it it's a good reason to come back the following week. It, it will be there. How many consigners do you have? Um, about 2,000. 2,000? 2,000. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> That's a lot. It's a lot of items that come in the back. And uh, those consigners are a lot of times consigning more than just one item. Yes. yes. We can, you can consign one, you can consign as many as you want. There is a fee involved, but it's only $20 for every 50 items. So if you bring in 50, you know, it's 20, and then you can go back home and realize, oh, I've got a whole nother room I want to get rid of, and that's, you just bring it in and we just take care of it. And there you go. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the money benefits the two charities that yes. you mentioned, Kids on the Block, Puppet Troop, mm -hmm. and the Harwood Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, why do you want to do this? I know it's a lot of hard work, but you want to do it. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It, it's fun. It brings our group together, and then ultimately, it's for the children. I mean, that's why we do it. We get to see the Harwood Center kids, and that's very, very special. And then also the the kids on the block, puppeteers, and children that they reach is really important to us. It is. It's nice knowing you know you come in and and you work and it can, can make for long days and you know you're moving furniture and all this and then you stop and you see the poster that that reminds us of why we're doing it and it's it's you've got the fun you've got the hard work you've, the friendships that we mm -hmm. make it's just it's, it's a very rewarding thing that at the end of the day everyone's happy so for more information our website will have it up and that's www.lpmemphis.org Okay, so you can go to the website mm -hmm. to gather more information about uh, how to consign, the dates of the event, mm -hmm. the location, directions, exactly. the phone number, which you can call. All of that, yeah. It should be up and running. Yeah. So, here we go. I know. We're about to start. <laughs> Another year. Ladies, congratulations and thank you so much thank for you being for here. Thank Kim you. Flynn and Leslie Dar our Memphis makers. Don't go away. We'll be back right after the break with the guys from CERB. My wife's drinking really made things difficult for me. I'd come home from work to find the house was a mess and the kids hadn't done their homework. No matter how hard I tried, things just wouldn't get better. I didn't think it was fair that I had to work so hard just to keep everything normal. I knew if she could just quit drinking, things would be okay. In the meantime, I avoided family and friends because I didn't want to deal with the questions they would ask. My EAP counselor at work sent me to Al-Anon family groups. I didn't think I needed to go to any meetings at this point, but it turned out to be great advice. Listening to Al-Anon members talk about their lives helped me see a, a different way of looking at things. I never imagined I would be as calm as I am now. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group meeting from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Hi, I'm Rochelle Lefebvre and this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did, adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Hi, and welcome back to Memphis Makers. I'm Allie Luciano, and as promised, we have people here from the Serbs. 
<laughs> How are you? I'm thank you. Harvey Middleton is a board member for SERVs and Karen Dunn is the Director of Development. We're so happy that you've taken time out of your day to come and tell us about what's going on at SERVs because there's a lot going on just beside the spirit of SERVs every day there. So Karen, as Director of Development, why don't you fill us in on the mission, the purpose? Sure, sure, I'd be happy to. SERVs is a nonprofit United Way agency. We provide programs and services, support services, to people with uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities. Um, we've been around for a little over 50 years. We were started in 1962 um, by a small group of families who wanted a safe work environment for their loved ones with disabilities, and we've grown tremendously since then. Where We serve over a thousand people with disabilities now and with a dedicated staff of about 900 people. Now if it weren't for SERVs, a lot of these people who are developmentally delayed or have disabilities and everything would be sitting at home with no purpose and nothing to do. That, unfortunately that's true for a lot of, in a lot of cases. Uh, we provide programming and support services for those people with um, disabilities so that they have um, they do have something meaningful to do during the, during the days, and it also provides um, a very good service for the family members who are oftentimes the caregivers. Uh, it gives them time to take care of their responsibilities, go to work, do the other things that they're responsible for during the day, and having a little bit of peace of mind knowing that their loved one is being well taken care of. So you um, celebrated a little milestone here. We have, actually have, set, have several milestones, but I'm happy to tell you about them. Um, we just opened our first satellite center in Covington. It's, um, uh, it's called Tipton, Enhanced, Tipton County Enhanced Learning Center, and it provides a Montessori-based learning activities for adults with disabilities. We serve about 15 people there. Um, it is part of our vision as an organization to provide e expanded services to new communities across West Tennessee. Okay, before were you only just in Memphis? We were in Shelby and Fayette counties. Okay. Yes. Okay, but having the satellite centers will make it more accessible for people who live in outside of Memphis. Yes, that's in that's outlying the, communities, this our suburbs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That that's our vision is to provide those services to people who currently aren't having any. Well, and there's been a merger? There has been a merger at, earlier this month as a matter of fact. We have merged with Special Kids and Families, which is an organization that provides early intervention services to children from birth to age 12. Uh, it's now called Serves Kids and Families, and we provide those services now for um, about 75 children, and um, it is also our part of our vision to provide those services from birth to end of life, and this allows us to do so. You know, I was thinking about that the other day, uh, end of life issues mm -hmm. for people who have disabilities. Of course, before that, a lot of the parents, I think, are uh, concerned because what's going to happen to my child when I'm gone? Absolutely. That's a, that is a very major concern for a lot of people, as mm -hmm. especially as they age. It stays on their mind throughout their whole lives, but, but especially as they themselves are aging. Now, the merger with special kids, is that because you have a new program or because you really thought that they got it right and you wanted to add that to what you've got going on? They, they have it right. <laughs> they had it right. And we have brought their um, employees and their teachers and their therapists on staff with ours so that we can have that continuation of services. Um, we're very happy to have them aboard and are happy to be able to provide those services. And you got some money from the Plow Foundation. <laughs> yes, you see that puts a smile on both of our faces. <laughs> yes, we received a $300,000 grant from them. Awesome. Um, it's in support of our employment initiative. And that is um, a program that um, we're working with the Tennessee Department of Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities 
to move people with disabilities from sheltered workshops into integrated employment in the community. Well, and you also received an accreditation along with that? We did, and again, this puts big smiles on our faces. So, lots happening at SERVs. We, we have uh, become accredited by the Council on Quality and Leadership, which is a four-year people first, people excellent, excellence for people um, accreditation, and it's a very rigorous process. And um, I took a full review of all the services that we provide, and we were very happy to learn that we have become accredited by the CQL. Outstanding. That is just wonderful, Karen. Now, let's, we've talked about SERVs and, and all of the wonderful things that you do, but there's a party coming up, but Harvey knows all about that. <laughs> big party. <laughs> a big party, yeah. And it, every year, what, is this like your 100th it's, year to do it? Or No, what? this is my 16th year to do it. <laughs> oh, I've, is it? I've missed one you so missed far, one. but that's, uh, that's okay. This is going to be bigger and better than anything we've ever done before. Yeah. August 23rd at Hilton Memphis, starting at 7 o'clock. It's going to uh, lots of wine food from uh, Memphis's most popular restaurants. Well, now let's see. I Entertainment. Have a, I have a list of the restaurants that Mortimer's, Elfay's, Cookie Canuck, Half Shell, Bontai, Interim, Panera Bread, Central Barbecue, Buckley's, and more. Many more, yes. That's incredible. Yes. <laughs> Plus the wine tasting. Plus the wine tasting, yes. So, Wines from around the world. So you, you, you walk from booth to booth. <laughs> Yes, as well as you can after a while, <laughs> but it's uh, it's great that we have great entertainment and a special event this year, an after event party with the band Party Planet. Oh, wow. Very, uh, very popular band in Memphis right now. Yeah, definitely. And so you know, but at the event, you get there and there's so much going on. There's an auction. Yes, there's a silent auction okay. and live auction too. Uh, we'll have about 200 items in the silent auction, and this year we're doing uh, doing away with the paper bid sheets. We have a software program where you can bid using your cell phone, and it's it's a great system. It alerts you when someone has overbid you. Oh wow! You don't have to <laughs> hover around the object and run from one end of the room to the other <laughs> to check on your items. You can just enjoy your wine and wait for the beep, and you'll know that somebody's overbid you on something. I actually saw one lady sit on a bid sheet, literally. <laughs> yes, that happens. It does happen. <laughs> to keep others from bidding on this item, I've got to have it. <laughs> but that, that'll solve that problem right it will. there. And the checkout process will be a lot easier. Uh, it'll, the software will generate uh, your price sheet, how much you owe, and it'll be a lot uh, simpler and easier to go through the checkout process. Now, I know it's really hard to imagine, but what if you don't have a cell phone or you didn't bring it in with you? There are kiosks available throughout the room. I think there'll be 12 of them that you can go to and bid on an item if you don't have a cell phone. This is wonderful. You see people walking down the street and they're on their cell phones not paying any attention to anything around them and everything. And now you can go to an event and feel... Do just, the same thing. Yeah, do the same thing. <laughs> just feel right at home about the whole thing. <laughs> well, that's innovative, though. Yes, it is. It really is. It, it's just bringing the masses what they already have in, in a different way. Right. <laughs> now, you're, you're a board member, yes. Harvey, and so why did you want to be a board member of SERVs? Uh, I was looking for a volunteer opportunity back in the uh, middle 80s. Uh, they gave me a list at the office of uh, United Way agencies, and uh, I had a young cousin who had severe MR, mental retardation, who was helped by an agency in St. Louis, much like SERVs. And so that's why I wanted to be involved with SERVs. Because you saw their program and thought, wow, yep. this is what's made a difference in my family. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I'd like for everyone else to have these opportunities here right. as well. So working for that is a good thing. Now, you, you mentioned entertainment and after party with the band. Party Planet. Party Planet, that's them. And you're also going to have uh, other entertainment. Yes, the company D-Dancers 
and we have uh, serves uh, some of our people plus uh, someone from the uh, serves kids and families that will be providing entertainment uh, as well. Okay, and the uh, company D dancers. These these are all um, young adults. Yes. With Down syndrome. Yes. And they they are a dance troupe, and uh, they've competed nationally. I did not know that. Oh yes. Oh, but yes. I, I do know that they, they are fabulous and they, they put are. their heart and soul they into do. their dancing. It's, it's just wonderful. They do. And it's it's always a spectacle. I just <laughs> yes. love it, being able to see them. Now, um, the auction items that you're going to have, Yes. what are some of them? Well, we've got uh, a lot of uh, home decor items, spa packages, sports me memorabilia. We have art, jewelry, uh, wine, and spirits. Uh, some of the uh, live auction items. Uh, there's a weekend uh, stay at a cottage in Pickwick, uh, two airline tickets anywhere in the U.S., uh, a week at a condo in Lake Orange, Florida. That includes passes to um, Disney World. And then uh, I, this one is great. It's a, a night stay at the Peabody, which includes uh, dinner for two at Chez Philippe which is a, oh, a very fabulous nice. auction item. That is a really nice yes. auction item. We, we also have, uh, we'll be featuring our, our artwork from our featured artist this year, which is Edwin McSwine. He's a, he's a Memphis artist, yes. very popular in yes. the area, and we'll also feature that during our live auction. Well, and this is something that you do every year. You have a featured artist. Yes. And usually it's the, the art, the picture, the logo, I, I don't know exactly what to call it, but they design that and then also donate other artworks. That's correct. They do. And Mr. McSwine has done a fabulous job this year. He will be there to tell you a little bit about the, about the painting during the, the live auction. And um, it's always something to look forward to. Always, always. And all of the money will benefit serves. Yes. It does. It, uh, it raises a lot of money for serves every year, and we are happy that people come out and support the event. August 23rd, 7 to 1030. Are tickets still available? Tickets are available right now, and um, you can co contact our office to purchase them. Um, or our website, yeah. yes, uh, www.srvs.org. Just don't miss out on getting your ticket, right? That's right. Get yeah. those tickets. Get your tickets <laughs> and bring all of your friends because, I mean, it's going to be a really wonderful time. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be a wonderful time. Well, I know that it will be. I've been to the event before, and it was a wonderful time. So with that said, let me wrap it up. Karen, uh, uh Dunn and Harvey Middleton are Memphis makers. And remember, if you need information on any of the topics that we've discussed here today, you can find it right here at your public library. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.